Baltimore City hits the 100th murder mark, and two of the recent victims are teenagers. Now the mayor and police commissioner just released new information about the 16-year-old murdered, murdered rather, at a basketball court. WJZ investigator Mike Hugrens live near the scene of the crime in southwest Baltimore updating the case for us. Mike? Mary, it happened here at the Rodman Rec Center. Police say the victim had a gun and drugs on him at the time. They have yet to find his killers. We've seen uh, a number of people remembering him on social media today. The 16 year old shot at a basketball court at the Mary Rodman Rec Center just after 8 last night had a weapon on him. Mayor Pugh spoke about the case this morning. We've got too many illegal guns on our streets. 470 some odd illegal guns picked up off of our streets, and including last evening, uh, the teenager who had a gun in his purse uh, on himself, from my understanding. And this was not somebody just playing on a basketball court, but let me just say this to you all no child. No child, no death in this city is acceptable. And we've got to get guns out of the hands of our children. The commissioner says he doesn't believe the teen victim shot back, that the gun was in his pocket. He says the victim was well known to police in the area. He's the second teen shot in Baltimore in four days. On Saturday, Ray Glasgow, the third, the lacrosse captain at City College High School, was gunned down on Eden Street near the Perkins homes. Police say he was not the intended target, and they're still looking for his killers in a white two door Nissan Altima connected to the case. Glasgow's teammates played an emotional city championship game on Monday. The last time I saw him was last week when we went to see him off the palm, and the last thing I told him was that I loved him and that I wanted him to have fun and to enjoy himself. And it's just wrong because my cousin didn't do nothing. Glasgow will be buried Friday as Baltimore marks a grim milestone, the city's 100th murder of 2018. My family is heartbroken and we just want to know why. And it is Baltimore ceasefire this weekend. They were handing out information about it uh, here in the neighborhood today. Put the guns down. That's the message. And coming up new at 5, we'll tell you more about the 16 year old who died here. Uh, it's just a tragic situation. Live at the Rodman Rec Center, Mike Helgren, WJZ. It certainly is, Mike. Thank you. If you know anything about these cases, you can call Metro Crime Stoppers, the number 1 866 7 Lockup.